Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and today I'm going to do a quick comparison between the Lantac Dragon, which is a compensator, and your standard A2 flash hider. Now this is not going to be a scientific comparison video whatsoever because each device is made for something completely different. A compensator does just that. It compensates for muzzle rise and recoil, whereas a flash hider simply hides the flash from the gases as they leave your barrel. This video really is intended to show you the difference between the two, so that if you're considering upgrading from a standard flash hider to a compensator, uh, you'll You'll have a little bit more information to do so because they can get very expensive. Now I should note that if you're switching over from a flash hider to a compensator that the compensator rifle is going to be much louder and have much more concussion due to the redirection of gases than your standard flash hider. So if that's something that you're sensitive to you may want to keep that in mind. Now let's talk about muzzle rise and recoil. As you can see right here, I'm using a rifle that's equipped with the Lantac Dragon Compensator, and there is virtually no muzzle rise or recoil. Even using a magnified optic, my follow-up shots are very easy. I never have to reacquire my target, and I can keep accurate shots one right after the other. That's a stark contrast to using a standard A2 flash hider where you get a lot of pop, you get a lot of recoil. Now the 5.56223, there's not much recoil anyway, but still, that pop does take you off target, and even using a red dot, Follow-up shots need to be readjusted if you want to maintain accuracy. So if accuracy is your overall key goal and follow-up shots are your key goal, definitely moving from a standard A2 to a compensator is going to be better. Now let's take a look at the recoil and muzzle rise of a standard A2 flash hider. As you can see with each shot there, my Magpul flashlight holder actually bends and torques with the amount of pressure that's being put against it. So there's a significant recoil for a 5.56 just using a standard flash hider. As we switch over to the compensated rifle, you'll notice that with each shot there's an immense amount of gas, but the rifle really doesn't move very much. There's barely any recoil, barely any muzzle rise, and it just stays right on target. So definitely better using the compensator over the A2. Now when it comes to compensators, they don't really mitigate flash very well, so if you're somebody who's going to be using night vision, maybe a compensator isn't the right thing for you. But if you're somebody who's not going to be using night vision and you really care about that recoil, the follow-up shots, being able to keep your rifle linear, then definitely I would recommend switching over to a compensator. Uh, the Lantac Dragon is a great one. It comes with a crush washer and some lube, very easy to install. And out of all of the compensators that I've used in the past, probably six or seven, this is my favorite. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.